Hey, what's up? So I'm going to be going over my top 25 favorite films from Orion Pictures. Orion Films is a company I grew up watching and uh, yeah, I really like their films. So at number 25, I'm going to go with Cotton Club. This is a Francis Ford Coppola film. So it has an all-star cast. Um, it takes place in the 1930s. It's like a mafia movie. But yeah, I thought this one has some good visuals and uh, it's a pretty good film. The Cotton Club, number 25. Number 24, I'll go with the original Gangsters. This one's just a lot of fun. You got Fred Williamson, Jim Brown, Pam Greer. The old school gangsters, the OGs, going against the new school gangsters. Yeah. This one's just a fun action comedy film that I enjoy, so number 24. Number 23, I'll go with Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. This is just a fun 80s, you know, comedy film, a time travel film. Keanu Reeves. It's one of one I enjoy, so number twenty-three. Number twenty-two. I'll go with Monkey Shines. It's, it's a pretty good film. It's like a creepy psychological thriller type film. So yeah, this is a George A. Romero film as well. But yeah, I enjoy this one. It has a good story. Monkey Shines. Number twenty-two. Number 21, I'll go with Scarecrows. Yeah, this is a good uh, action-packed horror film. Uh, got these scarecrows, you know, in the field, you know, taking out an army, you know, one by one, slaughtering them. So yeah, I enjoy this film, Scarecrows. At number 21. At number 20, I'll go with Cherry 2000. Yeah, I really like this film. This is a fun one from the 80s. It's kind of like a futuristic, you know, action adventure film. So, yeah, it's a good one. Cherry 2000. Number 20. Number 19. I'll go with The Dark Half. It's another very good film. It's kind of like a mystery, you know, thriller type of film. It's a George A. Romero film. I enjoy this one. Number 19. Number 18. I'll go with Robocop 3. Yeah, this is a fun one. Um, yeah, Robocop, you have him uh, you know, using a jetpack, flying and stuff. But uh, yeah, he's also going against a, a robot ninja. Yeah, it's not the best in the franchise, but I still enjoy this one. It has some good action. Robocop 3. Number 18. Number 17. I'll go with The Hand. Yeah, I thought this is a very good film, actually. Um, it's like a psychological thriller film. And yeah, I really like the story, and uh, yeah, very good film. Highly recommend it. It's underrated. Number 16. I'll go with Wolfen. This is a very good. Uh, werewolf film it's kind of like a mystery you know werewolf film but uh yeah I really like this film it's a good story wolf and horror film and number 15 I'll go with Over the Edge yeah I really like this film it's a uh, kind of like a kid rebellious uh, kind of like a drama as well but it's a fun one. I enjoyed it. Over the Edge. Number 15. Number 14, I'll go with Night of the Comet. Yeah, I like this film. It's a post apocalyptic zombie film. Yeah, I just really like it. It's, it's a fun film. But, uh, yeah. Number 14. Number 13, I'll go with The Code of Silence. Chuck Norris film. It's an action, um, action film, and uh, yeah, he's going against some crime lords. So yeah, 
We got Henry Silva in this one as well, but yeah, I like this one. Code of Silence. Number 12. I'll go with Lone Wolf McQuaid. It's a Chuck Norris, David Carradine film. Got them battling it out. Also, this is kind of like a Western film. A modern day Western with some Kung Fu action. Yeah, Lone Wolf McQuaid. I enjoy this one. At number 11, I'll go with Platoon. Yeah, this is it's a very good you know, war film. Vietnam War. This is a fun one as well from the 80s. Got Charlie Sheen and uh, William Defoe. So yeah, I really like this film. I need to pick up the 4K. I've seen, it, seen this film a bunch of times. At number 10. Amityville 2, The Possession. I thought this was a very fun, you know, uh, haunted house film, possession film. You have a... Uh, good practical effects in this one so yeah I like this one number 10 at number 9 I'll go with Killer Clowns from Outer Space this is a crazy film it has some um, clowns you know alien clowns you know, um, abducting people and stuff like that but yeah, this is a fun 80s classic Number eight, I'm gonna go with the Amityville Horror, the original. This is a good haunted house film. Um, it's one I've always enjoyed. So, yeah, it's kind of like a thriller, you know, scary horror film. But uh, yeah, Amityville Horror. And number seven, I'll go with Mackie Me. Yeah, this is a childhood favorite of mine. I grew up watching, and uh, yeah, it's a fun kid film, alien film. But uh, yeah, really enjoy this film. Mac and Me, number seven. Number six, gonna go with the classic, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, this is an awesome zombie film. Great practical effects. And, uh, yeah, love this film, Return of the Living Dead. Number five, go with Silence of the Lambs. This is an awesome film. One of the best psychological uh, thrilling horror films. But uh, yeah, grew up watching this film. I'm always engrossed when I watch this film. Every time, so yeah, Silence of the Lambs. Great movie. Masterpiece. At number four I'll go with Robocop 2 this is another one I've always liked so you got Robocop you know battling against uh, another machine also has a kid you know criminal in this film and uh, very you know sad death scene but uh, yeah I've always enjoyed this film Robocop 2 great film number three go with First Blood yeah this is a very good movie backwoods action film survivalist type of movie but uh yeah you have Stallone you know back from war struggling with you know PTSD and you know you got police giving him a hard time but uh yeah I love this film just wanted something to eat. I also have the steel book, 4K steel book. Yeah, we really like it. Number two, I'll go with The Terminator, the original. This is just an awesome action horror film that I've always loved and uh, one I always go back to. So, yeah, great film. A lot of fun. I also got the DVD, which has the original mono sound to it. That uh, yeah, I always like watching. I like watching both the Blu-ray and DVD. 
this one to get the original sound on out of it. All right, my number one pick. Have to go with the classic, RoboCop, the original. This one's just a awesome film. You got great one-liners, great action, gore. This one's just a very good movie, a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, I love this film. RoboCop, number one. So that was my top 25 favorite films from Orion Pictures. Those are my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think. I'd also like to give a shout out to Coflex Fix 24 who inspired the making of this video. He did his top 10. Go ahead, check out that video. He's got some good picks. But yeah, thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.